Okay, an artificial. Rather than being thrown by the sterile lab environment, these monitors are focused and show an ability to think ahead, which is exceptional for a reptile. To test whether the animals are hitting the black ball by chance, the targets are swapped. We think this is a very promising uh, beginning. Obviously, we have a long way to go, but no one has really done this kind of work uh, before. But the fact that they are learning some of these trials so quickly, much more quickly than many other animals, even mammals, shows that mild lizards, I think, are sort of the, uh, the primates of the lizard world. Intelligence is about learning and the ability to adapt quickly to new experiences in the lab and in the wild. In Thailand, monitor lizards have learned to take advantage of new opportunities. This is the water monitor, which can grow more than six feet long and is known locally as the little crocodile. It's been quick to find a perfect place to prowl, our food-filled cities. In the center of buzzing Bangkok, the water monitor has invaded water channels and surrounding parks, embracing the urban lifestyle with ease. Fresh food and garbage are both fair game. And the best spots for a hungry lizard close to busy market stalls are usually won in a fight. Monitors are renowned wrestlers, but they fight for more than just food. These trials of strength increase just before the big rains. The rains mark the start of the mating season. Now the males are pumped up and ready to brawl over females. This is the one time lizard kings break the monotony of their normally solitary lives. The next two months are highly charged, with males marking areas driving off rivals and making passes at the opposite sex. Males also release scents, which scientists believe may serve to cow the competition and signal their potency. But it takes a great deal of pushing and shoving to convince a lizard queen that he is the king for her. Once the couple has found each other, they mate repeatedly. But the female will mate with several other partners too, so her clutch of eggs will carry the DNA from different males. Such is the drive to multiply, a female can find herself overwhelmed by suitors. When it's all over, she'll dig an underground chamber and lay a dozen or so eggs. And about eight months later, the young heirs will emerge to found their own urban dynasties. Back at Eric's camp, expectations are rising. We've got to keep the tail from flashing. The lizard cam team has arrived, and they're fitting Eric's freshly caught sand monitor with a made-to-order video camera and radio tag. 
Yeah, it's, it's got yeah. The, the, the radio tag here. Mm -hmm. So if it comes off, we, we can find we, we can find the unit. And here. we're going to put another tag so we can find the lizard if the unit drops off. Yeah. He's behaving very well. Yeah. <laughs> so Should we patient fit? Cooled down for easier handling. The sand monitor takes the fitting in stride. Single wizard before. Yes. <laughs> three, <laughs> three different signals it's sending out. That's great. Yeah. Now comes the moment of truth. How is this monitor going to react to its new backpack? Oh boy. He's going to take off running, I think. There we go. Once he realizes he can go, we'll try to. Oh, no, there he goes. Oh, neat. Yeah. Wow, you can see him walking <laughs> along. Fantastic. Okay, let's go yep, down here track. and try to get his course. Swiftly out of sight, the monitor is up to his old tricks. But Lizard Cam is about to reveal just how he pulls off this familiar vanishing act. Only a few monitor species stand or run on their back legs to get a better view. And the sand monitor is one of them. He's probably in between a couple of these tight spin effects. Find him. With I think he's, he's over there. Over that way. OK. But I think we, we can stay here now, because Lucas gets uh, good reception. Oh, he's getting So there's, there's no need to, to get closer. Yeah, well, that's not spooky. After 40 years of watching lizards, Eric is seeing for the first time what they see. And he's in for a surprise. Put his head down. Oops. There he's digging. See? He's digging. Sensing the team is hot on his heels, the monitor changes tactics. He heard that. <laughs> he's listening to us. Flicking it's his awesome. tongue. Yep. Yeah. Sunset is only an hour away, and the temperature is dropping. They're very powerful diggers. He's digging like a maniac. For a solar-powered reptile, there's only one safe way to go, down into a warm hideaway. I think he's going to dig an overnight burrow right here. Amazing, he got that far that fast. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. It's a great. You can actually see the hole. Yeah, yeah, he's making his hole. You it's can see it. In just 15 minutes, the monitor has excavated itself a snug refuge. I didn't know they could do it this fast. Mm -hmm. I thought they, I thought they went to a burrow that they already knew was there. Well, that's our first discovery then. Yeah. Already, the monitor has made up for stealing Eric's lizards. His camera will be recovered in a few days. Lizard cam has added a new dimension to Eric's research. Bushfires are part of Australian life. Everywhere, from the deserts to the tropics. To survive such devastation, each species has its own tactic. But while most animals flee, the Merton's monitor stays cool. Water gives a degree of protection and the flames will bring an unexpected bonus. Some predators, like birds of prey, are attracted towards the blaze and become a meal themselves. Insects taking flight from the flames and smoke also drop out of the sky, out of the fire, and into the frying pan. But there's more to bushfires than destruction and free meals. 
They're one of the reasons why Australia has such rich lizard communities. Fires carve up the landscape. 